Hi, this is John Canalopoulos here in our office in Athens, Greece. Our favorite subject, sorry for the shaky uh, image, we're going to see a young 19-year-old lady who was sent to us with a suspicion of keratoconus because her refraction is um, uh, pointing towards the direction of, uh, of higher astigmatism. She's wearing a minus six and a half, minus two and a half on the right and minus seven, minus two. Her order of fraction is a little bit uh, south of that. And her uh, corrective vision acuity is 2020. She's 2200 uh, in either eye by, um, uh, without correction. Now, starting with keratoconus, we always like to evaluate the keratometries. And we see her keratometries are at par with her astigmatism and that she corrects well. And of course, like everybody else, currently, globally, I would say, we will jump onto the uh, Pentacam images, which look good. We And we've talked about this before on the right eye. I go directly to the cornea pachymetry map on the Pentacam, and we're seeing that the pachymetry is very good. We're uh, minimum 552. I don't like the fact that the thickness is oval instead of round, and there is some truncation of the astigmatism on the right eye here. Anterior posterior surface are normal. We're going to see the same images on the um, uh, left eye, which again, the truncation is even more remarkable here. Thickness maps are good, but again, oval, a uh, little bit more abrupt thinning. Thinnest here is 540. Anterior and posterior uh, cornea curvature, or rather elevation maps more correctly, are good. So the go-to uh, exam here is our uh, anterior segment OCT, which confirms that our cornea pachymetry is normal with minimum thickness here on the right eye, 530. But more importantly, uh, I'd like to spend a few seconds here in looking at the epithelial maps. Number one, these maps show there's no contact lens warpage. She's been off contact lenses for a month, by the way. Number two, there's no remodeling of the epithelium in a way that reminds keratoconus. And this image reveals that the, this lady has a little bit of dryness already uh, while 19 years old in these uh, lower epithelial uh, thickening with the yellow islands. We've uh, first described this in the literature in our um, landmark paper in the Journal of Cornea, must be over 10 years ago, uh, kind of uh, acts as a referee. We're seeing the same imaging on the left eye as well with normal, see how we saw on the left eye, the thickness changing in ovals. On the pentacam here, it's changing in circles. And this for us is confirmatory that there's no keratoconus, number one. Number two, the pentacam images were a little bit off because she has a little bit of dry eye and blepharitis. Uh, and thus, despite the fact that we would encourage any high myop with high astigmatism not to rub their eyes, we feel that this young lady is a good candidate for uh, laser vision correction if she decides. If dryness is an issue, of course, PRK would be predominant procedure here, our uh, optus, so. Uh, uh, peripheral fundus exam, always a very important thing in young, uh, very high myopes. So again, uh, how a, a originally suspicious pentacam uh, can drive us through the careful evaluation of the uh, corresponding anterior segment of CT. These are the um, OptiView Avanti maps, uh, becomes for us confirmatory of uh, a non keratoconus diagnosis. Hope you found this interesting. This is John Kanopoulos from our office here in Athens, Greece signing out and thank you so much for your attention.